happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another shein haul for you all i'm super excited about this shein haul because i focused on getting a lot of storage for my nail room and yeah i want to hop right on into this and show you all what i got but before i show you all shein you know how i do i'm gonna go ahead and show you all some items that i picked up from some other stores um i did go to my local dollar tree y'all know i love my dollar tree and i just picked up a couple of random items um the first thing i picked up here is this pencil and brush organizer. And I, I primarily got this because um, sometimes when I'm doing my swatches, I don't have anywhere like to set them. And so I thought this would be the perfect thing to use that for it. So I'm gonna open this and see how easy this is to put together, okay? Okay, I have seen these on Shein too. Um, I'm not exactly how much they cost on Shein, but I know they wouldn't be no more than a couple of dollars. So it looks like you just take Okay, so you just take this like this. Okay. All right, cool. It's pretty easy to put together. And I guess you just line all of this up here like so. Sweet, okay, yeah. Yeah, awesome, yes, I like that. And so, like I said, I got them so that when I am swatching items, oh, well that doesn't work for me. <laughs> well, never mind, you guys. I got them for swatch sticks for when I'm swatching. Maybe I'll just have to set them on top like this then. Um, I guess I'll have to find something else for my swatch sticks for now. I guess this can kind of work if I just set them on top, but I mainly got them so that you know, while I'm swatching, I can kind of set the swatches down and not have to worry about them going everywhere. But I guess it doesn't really work for that purpose I wanted them for. But this is also a brush holder. So I have one of my acrylic brushes here so you can set your brush here. So if you have like a lot of acrylic brushes and nail art brushes and such, you can use this for that. Like for instance, like my, for instance, I have like one of my poly gel brushes here that goes in here. I have my rhinestone picker goes in here so <clears throat> excuse me so you can still find use for it it's just not going to fit the use that i had particularly bought it for so yeah but i got this from dollar tree it was a dollar and 25 so you know super affordable next item, item that i picked up here is this uh craft scraper and i got this mainly for when i am uh mixing like my glitters so i am playing around with more loose glitters these days and so when i want to mix them on my little mixing plate i have this little uh, scraper that i can use to just kind of like mix the the gel and the glitter together so i picked this up for that reason and then the last thing i picked up here is just a uh, embroidery needle bundle um i got this for my sewing needs but i thought i'd show it to you guys in case anybody is interested and might you know find another use for it so i have that and that's all i picked up from dollar tree now i'm going to hop into my shein haul um so okay so i originally bought my storage items right and then after i bought my storage items i watched a haul from just nikki and i ended up purchasing something else and so i'm gonna show you all that stuff first and then i'll hop into my storage but i'm just like really rosa like did i really need to go and place that order for more items no i didn't but i did so i'm gonna show y'all what i picked up this is like a just nikki made me buy because i swear after i washed her haul i hopped right on there and like placed an order like i placed two orders back to back like crazy anywho um let me show y'all what i picked up here so one of the one of the things that she showed in her haul were these cards here and I really, and I really like these for the idea of um, having a display board for my press on nails. So like say for nails like this, they're like super long. And, and while we're looking at my nails, y'all, ain't they cute though? <laughs> these are my Easter nails, y'all. Um, I have tutorials to both of these sets live on my channel. So if y'all wanna check it out, y'all can. But anywho, uh, yeah, so for nails like this, I apply peel off base coat under all of my sets. And so when I take them off, I do like to save my sets to kind of come back and look at them and or, you know, maybe recreate them, inspiration, etc. And so I have bought the clear, um, the clear little ones from um, Shein. 
um, like I bought the small clear rectangular ones with the red tape, that little bundle off Shein, but then I realized that um, it wouldn't really work for my longer nails. And so see for a nail this size, this little cardboard fits perfectly. So I still need to figure out how I'm gonna store them, but this is the perfect background to have them on. So um, I appreciate that recommendation. Thanks darling. So I picked these up. The next thing I saw in her haul, like literally all the stuff that was in that she hauled, I, I dang near hauled. So I thought these were really cute. Um, these are some like sequins. And I actually have some similar to this, but um, they are like hollow. And so let me show y'all how these look. So I actually like these because they actually look like diamonds. I actually just use some like this like i said they're hollow on a set that i just did these right here they are like the white crystal looking ones silver really beautiful um they have i guess they have three of the same one in each so they have this one here and then they have this one here and i guess what's cool about it too is that it also has like some transparent clear ones in there as well i didn't realize it was three of the exact same thing i probably wouldn't have got it if i'd known that and I guess these three are all the same too. And these have more of like a kind of pink and purple shift to it. I mean, they're really, really pretty. And now that I have used them before, I'll be excited to use them again. So yeah, that's really pretty. So I picked these up. So the next item I picked up is just some more short square swatch sticks. Um, I've been swatching a lot of products lately and so I just wanna make sure I have backup swatch sticks. Um, I like to primarily swatch my gel polishes on the short square ones so I picked up two more packs of these. Okay, so this was another Just Nikki situation. So y'all, she had this wax pencil. Not that I need another wax pencil, okay? But I just thought this was so freaking cute. And I just wanna be fancy while I'm play placing my rhinestones. That's the only reason I bought this, to be fancy while I'm play some placing my rhinestones. I did not need this, but isn't this gorgeous, you guys? Look at this. It is beautiful, like yes. So I had to get this y'all. I had to get this. So let me show y'all how this works. Okay, so what you do is you open this end up over here. They have this little wax situation where all you need to do is, let's see, get this little piece of wax out, right? And then you'll want to peel off the top layer here like so. And then you just take this part here and you stick it in there. And you see how it creates that little hole, right? And so now you have wax inside of this pen here. And let me just show you all with some demo rhinestones. You'll open this up and then that's how you will pick up your rhinestones. You see? And then that's how you pick up your rhinestones. So that's how this little gadget works. And I just thought it was really, really cute. So I had to pick it up. So I'm gonna be fancy while I'm placing my rhinestones these days, y'all. So get ready for that. But yeah, I'm happy too because this actually is, a, so this is actually chosen at random. The other one they have is like, it's this same kind of gold looking color, but then it has like this uh, red uh, gemstone in the middle. And I really wanted this one. So I'm so happy this is the one they picked and sent me. So I have that. Next thing I picked up is some, um, okay, so I picked these up. These are some post-it notes, right? And these post-it notes are, they kind of have like, let me show you. First off, I love the color of them, the rose gold. So they're super cute, right? But what I liked about these is that they kind of have like a smooth slash slick surface to them. And I got these in particular because um, I am starting to make my own uh, charms my own nail charms, so some DIY charms. And I noticed that when I cure them on certain surfaces, they like tend to stick to them and then the backing um, and then whatever it sticks to, it kind of comes off on my charms. And so I got these because it's a slick surface. And so I'll just turn one off, right? And then, you know, place my charms wherever. And then I can pick this up and put it in my lamp and cure it this way. And then it's gonna be easy for all the charms to just pop off of here. So yeah, I thought this was really cool. Happy to have it, and I will show you all how to use it when I, I do my DIY charms. And so yeah, I got this item. The next thing I picked up, uh, speaking of charms, is some more charms. Y'all know a haul for me would not be complete without a little bit of charmtivity. So the first charms I picked up are these right here. I thought they were so cute. So 
Let me show you guys. All right, so I'm gonna put them in here. But yeah, these are how these charms look. These are really, really cute. I got them because they kind of have like a vintage feel to them. So I thought they were really adorable. And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and use my wax pencil, y'all. So, it's like too many, too heavy for that. Oh, no, it works. Okay. So I showed this hack in another video, but if you all are needing to just kind of like place rhinestones, if you all are needing to place rhinestones on your nails, and you just kind of want to show what they would look like on your actual nail, you can just rub like an actual like wax pencil like this onto the nail bed, and then it should create a, um, a surface for you to be able to put your charms on. So, I want to show you all how this looks. Isn't this cute? Yeah, that's cute. I like this. This would be cute with just like some straight up black and white nails. Like, that's awesome. And then what's nice about these charms too is that they have a nice curve to the back of them. So these are really gorgeous. I'll be excited to put these to use. Um, the next charms I picked up, I just thought these were cute as well. They are some silver charms. I've been trying to get more silver charms in my collection because I noticed I have a ton of gold. And there's been a few looks that I've been wanting to do and I needed silver and I just didn't have it. So I picked a couple up, picked up a couple of silver charms here. So I thought these were really cute here. That's what these look like. Yeah, really pretty, really pretty. So let's see what one of these look like on the nail. Okay. Yeah, wow, look at that. This is absolutely stunning. Do you guys see this? Like, wow, I like that. I like that a lot. So, I like that pencil though. Yeah, that's beautiful. Y'all see these rhinestones? I mean, Shein just does so freaking good. I swear they do so good when it comes to charms. Like, I love getting my charms from there. The next item I picked up are these cute little, I don't know exactly what these are, but they were silver, so I wanted to add them to my collection. Um, so let me show you what these look like. Yeah, these are really beautiful. I think these would be cute for like some wedding nails. Let me show you what they look like here. So it, it's just kind of look like a floral, like floral decor type deal. But I just think these would be so cute. Like say if you wanted to do like wedding nails or something like that. Yeah, I just think these are really adorable. So I picked that up. Um, and then the last thing I picked up that is silver is these beautiful little teddy bears. I've been seeing these teddy bears all over. And I actually recently got them in um, like a giveaway and then I bought, and then I, I purchased some um, nail art from some nail, some mystery nail art boxes from Linnell's by Lene and she had those bears in there. And honestly, I love them so much. I just went ahead and bought some more. So I got them in silver. This is what these look like. Oh my gosh, so freaking pretty y'all. Like, oh, I can't wait to put these to use. Like, these are absolutely gorgeous. Like, do y'all see this? Do y'all see the teddy bear? Do y'all see how cute he is? Yes, I love this. So, I picked these up. I think I might go back and get them in some other colors. I'm not sure yet, but I do have these, you guys. And then the last few items I got were some nail foils. I did also see this on her channel. Y'all, I don't know why, but I just went crazy with foils again. I just got my whole foil collection organized and now I have to go through and um, put away even more. But yeah, I got these little bundles of foils. I think she hauled this one and then while I was there, I found some other ones that I liked that were super cute. So I'll probably just play some music and let you all take a look at these, okay?
Okay, so that was the first pack of foils I got. And this here is the second pack. It's another, I think, 10 pack of foils. So I'll just go through and show you all what those look like. Oh, these are pretty. How fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm excited for these. These are like some gold foils. I don't know that. I've seen foils like this before. That's really pretty. They have like a gold background to them. So those are the two packs of the foils that I got. And then I also picked up another um, case of the foils, um, which is these right here. Y'all, and I thought these foils were so cool because they're kind of like newspaper themed foils. Yeah, they're kind of like newspaper foils. So I thought these were really cool. See, see how these got these look like newspaper? Like I thought that was just so cool. So I might have to try to do like some vintage newspaper nails or something like that. Like I just thought these were really cool. Let me take out one of them just so you can kind of see what they look like. So yeah, so see this here? Isn't that really cool? I've not seen anything like this before. So I thought these were some pretty cool foils to haul. And then let me show you one more here. These are just like more newspaper. I'm not sure exactly what it says on here, but you know, it'll be cool for some nail art, you know? I just thought that was really different. And then let me show you one more. So they also kind of had like some um, comic book looking ones too. So like here, they kind of look like comic book themed foils, you know? So yeah, I just thought these were really cool. So I hauled these and you all will be seeing them in some upcoming looks, okay? Okay, so that's all the foils. Now on to my organization items, y'all. That's That was the real reason for this haul, okay? To organize, get some more organization items. So I'm happy about what I picked up. Um, I do have a few items here. So the first thing I picked up is this thing here. I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit, actually. 
just so you can see a little bit better. So I picked up this here and it's a lipstick um, storage organizer, but I got this in particular for when I finally get some gel liners in my collection to um, store them like that. So let's see, it says exclusive makeup organizer. Okay. So yeah, I thought this was really cute and I actually saw short nail life haul this on her channel and I was excited to see it because it's rose gold and as y'all can see like this this color right here is kind of the theme that's in my nail room and so when I saw this on her channel I was like this is perfect so it kind of has that rose gold trimming to it and I have a couple of just like um nail art liner brushes these are just regular nail polish but you can see they fit in here perfectly so I'm gonna probably store this in my wardrobe I probably won't store it on my actual nail desk because it's kind of small but I'll probably store this um in my wardrobe and I'm just happy to have something that I can store all of my gel liners in and I'm super excited to build my gel liner collection okay um so I have one two three four two three four so it can hold 16 of them and I'm actually getting ready to get some of my first gel liners here soon so I'm excited that I already have storage for it and I actually picked up two of these let's see okay so yeah this is one and then I actually picked up two of these so this is the other one I haven't had a chance to open it yet but yeah so I have two of these for my gel art liners and then the next thing I picked up is this. I thought this was pretty cool. It's actually just like a brush holder. I think it was only like a book. And so I thought it was really cool to be able to just to store like my acrylic brushes and um, you know, different nail art items and such. So yeah, I got it for that. I don't know, maybe even this might work out for like swatch sticks, huh? So maybe it won't work out for swatch sticks as I'm swatching them, but it might work out for swatch sticks like for storage for what I need to put away. So that might be another way to use these items like so. Maybe I might be able to hold my swatches here. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But at least I'd be able to, after I'm done swatching some items, store them here until I'm able to actually put them away onto my swatch stick holders. So yeah, this you can use this for a lot of different things. Even if not nail art, you can use it for like makeup brushes. Um, you know, if you're into like uh, crafts and things like that, you can use them for tools. So I just thought this was really cute. So I got this. And then the last storage item that I picked up, you guys, is this right here. And this is, um, yeah, I was excited to find this too. And it's also kind of sort of matching the theme in my nail room. And yes, do y'all see this? Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, I really like this a lot. So I got this for my future nail drill, okay? <laughs> I don't have it just yet, but I've been eyeballing two nail drills. I've been eyeballing the, um, I think it's called the Stephanie drill from McCart, and then also the Scamander drill from Melody Susie. I haven't had a chance to purchase it yet, but it's on my wish list, and so I bought this storage for it in particular. I'm hoping that the base of the um, nail drill can fit right here, and then over here is just like more storage items for more things. So. I picked up two of these actually so this is one and then this is actually the other one and I got two for the purpose of also maybe using this for when I'm actually actively doing my nails so currently my storage situation is I have this little tray this little like two thing drawer that I pull out every single time I do my nails and sometimes especially if I have long nails like this right now if I try to reach in here to grab something it's kind of hard so I'm thinking maybe I might take a lot of these utensils and just kind of have them here, which makes it a little bit easier for me to just kind of reach in and grab, you know? So I might end up making this more of my, my, my thing that I take out when I'm getting ready to do my nails, you know? And then this is the other thing that I always reach for every time I do my nails. And this just holds all of like my gel base coats, top coats, um, dip powder liquids, etc., prep, primer, all of that. And so I'm thinking maybe if some of these, if they will fit in here, which it looks like they don't. Um, but if some of these fit in here, okay, I might just, I don't know. Let's see, does this fit like that? Does this fit in here? Okay. So yeah, I might end up taking out maybe some of my favorite, um, The 
Okay, yeah, so you guys see it can fit like a couple of base coats, top coats. It fits the full size ones here, and then also the 10 ml bottles here. So what I might end up doing is maybe the items that I'll always, always use in every set, I'll like prep one of these for that, and then um, have that be what I use. But it's nice to have my utensils, the top coats, base coats, everything, even some gel liner brushes I can maybe put here. You know, or even some nail art stuff. So, you know, the the options are endless with this and how you might want to use it. But that's why I bought it, just so that I could be able to easily access my tools. Oh, even my current nail drill. Let's see. Let me show you all my current nail drill. I keep it in this uh, bottom drawer here. But, yeah, I can even store it like this. So, I think this is going to work out better for me as far as, like, convenience. And when I'm doing my nails, like, it's just so much easier grab stuff like this and it's a lot cuter than this so yeah that's why I got this and then also like I said for my my future nail drill when I get a bigger one I think it'll be able to get housed in here as well so yeah y'all so my battery cut out so yeah in general this is the storage container that I got and I actually while I was waiting on my battery to recharge I actually went ahead and organized it off camera the second one that I got so this is an idea of how you can store your things in here so in here I have like my tweezers I have like my I have like some nail clippers, random nail art tools. I have like super glue, all of the extend gels that I normally use. Um, my favorite peel off base coat. I have a cuticle oil in here. Okay. And then um, another one of my favorite extend gels. And then a lot of the tools that I reach for frequently, which is like my poly gel brush, my wax pencil, and then my other wax pencil, which I just hauled in this video. So I'm going to keep all of that in here for now. And then, like I said, I have a second one here as well. So, that is that. And then I also picked up one more box of foils. I don't know why, y'all, but I just I just keep on foils now, don't I? So, this here is a box of, like, floral foils. And I just, I just thought they were cute. They have a lot of, like, pastel colors. They're pinks and purples and blues. And then some of them even have, like, writing on the foils, which I thought was so cool. Like this one, for instance. It has like different writing on the foil, which I thought was super cute. So that's the reason I got this one along with these fall leaves. I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, yeah, these are the reason I picked this box up. Got those beautiful fall leaves to transfer. Oops. Yeah, it has those beautiful fall leaves with the different colors. And so yeah, it's just a lot of different options. And then also, let me show you these pastel colors too. This is a really beautiful like floral pastel oil as well so yeah I also got that so it's a couple of different ones in here but those are the ones that really like jumped out to me okay okay so this is everything I hauled in this recent Shein nail supply haul um, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your favorite item is that I hauled and let me know what type of storage items that you all normally lean towards or pick up from Shein because I've been actually really enjoying shopping their storage solutions. These, um, lipstick holder that I'm going to use for my gel liner brushes. Like I absolutely love this, especially with that rose gold trimming on it. And so, yeah, let me know what the favorite item is that I hauled in this video. Um, again, if I didn't mention earlier, I do have reviews on both of these sets. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below. I have done full tutorials on both of these sets here on my channel. So if you all want to check that out, I will leave it down in the description box. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.